Hello and welcome friends to the Learning Hub YouTube channel. Today I have brought the very common topic that is internet. What is internet and what are the hardware and software requirement for the internet? So let's see what is internet. Basically internet is a system that makes your computer to connect with another computer anywhere in the world via a common service via standard protocol that is TCP IP protocol suit. TCP is transmission control protocol and internet protocol. So this is the way that your computer gets connect to any computer of the world via internet. So what, what is internet? What is here that provides the communication? So let's see the structure of internet. So whenever we have to communicate with another computer, we just click on an IP address. Whatever we type, it gets converted to an address that is called as internet protocol address. Okay, that is used to locate the other computer anywhere on the world, in, on the world and the information whatever we are searching whatever we are sending to our friend gets transmitted in the form of packet and each packet carries a source address that is our address our internet address our ip address and the respective receiver ip address and that information that packet also carries some error control information to control the error in between wire transmission okay and there is also a hardware device that is there in between different computers and that provides the service of transmission okay so let's see what are the basic hardware requirements for the internet so let us understand with this diagram here this is an internet basically internet is what it is the collection of servers that are far away from us and these servers are provided by the internet service providers like google like uh, yahoo like amazon like eucalyptus and these servers are connected via some transmission medium and at our end at our end we have dsl cable that is digital subscriber line this is uh, connected to the telephone line and then there is a router also and then through router we are connected with our system there are so many computer systems we can connect our laptop also and switches also can be used to connect the computer through the internet so let's see the basic hardware requirement for the internet so the very basic requirement is the server basically because it is the one who is providing the services on the internet next we require the communication medium like uh, some cable to connect with the server then digital subscriber line of course there should be some line from the far away that will connect our router our modem through the internet service provider services then we require the modem that will convert the instruction that will come convert the messages in the human readable form and let's see the detail of the server this is the server here i am showing you the server server is connected to this internet service and it is connected to so many devices at the receiver end so whenever you send some request whenever you type some request or you will search something on google will go via internet to this server and server that is far away from your place will respond to you via this internet basically internet is what is the collection of digital subscriber lines that are providing these services at your end and let us understand the server in some detail so server basically provide you the services it provide you the network resources are the data centers it provides web servers email servers they are the database servers and the file servers you can store your data also on the servers and you can use the servers for the communication you can use these servers for the searching purpose also so basic standard 
that is followed upon the server for the communication are called as the protocols protocols are basically the standard rules that are followed while using the services of internet so the very common protocols that are used over internet is http that is hypertext transfer protocol next is wire transfer protocol pop is post office protocol that is generally you are using while downloading your emails and simple transfer protocol next we require communication media we require communication media is like uh, twisted pair cable or some coaxial cable or optical fibers like here i am showing you the optical fiber and the information is carried in the form of the light signals so these are blue and white blue and red lines are the light signals that are get reflected in this glass fiber basically optical fiber is the glass fiber which is very thin and lighter and information gets transferred in the form of light to this optical fiber see optical fiber they shines in the darkness these are the optical fibers so they are connect collection of optical fiber that provides you the services here i'm showing you a diagram in which i'm showing you a map of the world and the colorful lines are basically the optical fibers these optical fibers are connecting each and every part of the world and these optical fibers are laid under the oceans see people are there and they are laying down the optical fiber line under the ocean under the sea that are basically connecting each and every part of the world see uh, next we require is communication media communication media like repeaters for the proper signals and transmission cost depends upon the type of your internet speed uh, your type of communication medium next to connect to get connect to the internet we require the internet service provider some provider should be there who will provide us the service whenever we buy some package or broadband or narrow band we have to pay to these service providers basically these service providers lays the optical fiber lines under the oceans and connects you to the world next we require the modem that converts that performs the task of modulation as well as demodulation at your end and provides you the services of the internet service provider next digital subscriber lines whenever you have to take the services of internet via your telephone lines you need a good digital subscriber lines for that next the software requirements for internet the basic software requirement for internet are databases web browsers and operating system so here i am showing you the access of internet via web browser see this person is accessing service of internet via clicking on this web browser web browser is like your google chrome your opera our internet explorer whenever we click on this web browser it get connects to your it will click to your cpu cpu will get connect to the internet via modem and when it is passed through the internet to the server remotely located server and will respond to you via internet at your system so this is the basic way of accessing the internet so this is how the web browser helps you to communicate to the remotely located server so web browser is basically a software application for retrieving for presenting and traversing information resources on the world wide web so basically whenever you have to search any information you just type the uniform resource identifier or uniform resource locator that will locate you your destination or your respective required image or video or whatever you request depending upon your request okay next we require is database software requires in database of software to use the services of internet of course the basic requirement is the operating system you must have operating system in your system to get connect to the internet friends this was all about internet and the basic hardware and software requirement of internet thank you thank you for so much for watching please to see all the series of my related videos kindly subscribe and press the bell icon thank you thank you so much for watching